All right, welcome back to Lost Cause. So uh, I was looking at the uh, Binding of Isaac website recently. I just uh, I don't, it hasn't really updated very recently, but it, there is still that post about the uh, upcoming DLC. And uh, one thing I hadn't really paid attention to before was this uh, little update at the bottom about how Florian, the programmer from the first game, is working on this sort of uh, this uh, addition to the original game that. Uh, would add sort of a harder difficulty mode. And also, one of the things the video featured was uh, some new bosses. It calls them Eternal Bosses, and I think the idea with them is they are harder versions of the original bosses, which drop an Eternal Heart when killed. And he was uh, taking someone through the game uh, during the video, and he was saying, like, oh, you know, maybe they're not hard enough. Is this uh, hard enough to be worth, like, a consistent payout of an et Eternal Heart? And my thoughts on that was, Eternal Hearts are not that good. You know, this is uh, maybe coming from elitism as somebody who's pretty good at the game. But, you know, I, even though these videos don't always showcase that, but I usually find myself with too many red hearts as opposed to not enough. You know, at the end of the game, I usually want to, especially in the original where the Polaroid is your only choice for a, you know, post-mom item, I want to be able to use the Polaroid's effect as much as possible, and that means having no uh, red hearts. I mean, you can still use them if you have, like, red heart containers, but uh, there is a chance that you will you know, step on a heart and lose the effect. So, you know, my goal was always to have zero red hearts by the end of the run. And that, uh, so yeah, it, and I, I think that's, I don't know how common that is. It seems like it would be. It's a pretty good strategy. Served me well. So maybe it's elitist to say that, uh, Eternal Hearts aren't that good. Probably a newer player would find them to be more useful. Hmm, Midas Touch, that's, uh, that could be useful if I find a source of invincibility. But then again, Eternal Bosses are harder versions of the regular bosses, so anybody who challenges them, I suppose, would be somebody who is pretty confident in their abilities. Probably someone who doesn't need extra red hearts as much as someone else might. I don't know. It's uh, it's not a bad idea, and I certainly like the idea of fighting harder versions of the bosses. That's the uh, that's the part of it that sounds fun to me. And I guess if you're talking about patching, you know, the original Binding of Isaac, there's a relatively small number of rewards you can give people people for uh, doing anything special, and Eternal Hearts are one of those rewards. Uh, I suppose you could make up uh, a new kind of thing that offers a larger benefit, but I don't know. I can understand why he would want to work within the uh, objects that were available, because adding a new feature is just creating more work for yourself. So anyway, uh, oh, let me catch you up. This is this boss's pin. It's not very difficult. And dead. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so I'm curious as to whether that actually does increase all stats. It's a, it's a little hard to tell by just looking at the... Uh, well, my attack power looks good. At the very least, it increases damage and tears, so... I'm not complaining. Those are what's most important to me. And does it increase health? It's impossible to say. No one can say whether Magic Mushroom increases health. No, definitely it does, but uh, for our purposes, that's not really important. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to be annoyed at the uh, Curse of the Lost. Oh, Curse of the Lost, I don't care for you. I usually don't bother remembering what's on the map. So, when you show up Curse of the Lost, I am disoriented, which I suppose is the point. I don't know, it just it uh, I guess it makes me feel kind of dumb because you know Curse of the Lost doesn't actually have to 
you know, take anything away from you because you have the ability to remember the map on your own. I certainly do. I just uh, choose not to use it and instead fumble around. If I'm running low on resources, I do have enough money to probably get some decent payouts from Judgment. Ooh. I have memories of dying in this kind of room. I believe I died in this kind of room on camera. It was humiliating. I will never repeat it. Well, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe in like a retrospective. You know, like a couple... A couple hundred episodes from now, you know, all my former, you know, all my most beloved guest stars will show up, and I'll, you know, just uh, go back through all the favorite deaths, uh, all the, all the wonderful ways I've died over the course of the series. <laughs> That's right. The plan is uh, to, for this to last hundreds of episodes, despite the fact that I've already gotten one of the objectives. How am I going to do it? Um, I don't know. Playing badly on purpose. Throwing matches. Ah, no, I, I fully intend to uh, give this one my all and find something to move on to after it's done. Maybe even before it's done. Oh, that, uh, wow, that almost got me. Almost uh, blew one of those poops over to me. No, not, yeah, not bad. Okay. So, keys. Oh, yeah, see, Eternal Hearts. Not that great. I'm not even going to pick it up. That's how much I am playing the Lost who cannot use it. Hmm. Tempting. There can be all kinds of wonderful things inside of locked chests, but I'd rather go for the, uh, the treasure room for now. And, I don't know, should I consider the broken remote? I kind of like the idea of it. Maybe if I get a spacebar item that, uh, well, okay, well, no, this would be at cross-purposes with the broken remote, because as soon as I became invincible, I would teleport out of the room. Not ideal. Yeah, okay, I'll go for it. Yeah, I'll just use this. Oh, right! Haha, <laughs> I'm rich! I'm richer! I'm the luckiest and prettiest boy in this basement. Oh, and, hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll pick that up. I mean, I do want to become Guppy if I possibly can. I guess I'll drop a judgment and see if I can get anything good out of it. No, I cannot. If I had... I don't know, if I had dropped it in the boss room, like, as I was fighting Larry Jr. and just popped over to it every couple of seconds to put in some more money, I suppose I could have, but I did not have the foresight to do that. Hmm. Let's see, well, there was a, oh yeah, there was a Wheel of Fortune card. Oh. Well... I don't want to try too many plays on this thing. Ooh, what's this? Two of diamonds. Well, yeah, sure. I'll keep going at it for a little while. If I get something like a uh, you know, two of clubs or a two of spades... Like, oh, okay, this could be useful. Hmm. Health up. No. Bad gas and bad gas. Okay, well, disappointing. Hey! All right. I'm creating some opportunities for myself. Okay, well that is not useful. Gives me gives me wings. But still, there remains potential to. Oh, uh, well, okay. Hmm. A bomb. So there was at least one tented rock, and I can turn that tented rock into. Hey! More than I expected. Damage up, always great. And what is this? Oh, another guppy item. Unbelievable! 
Okay, well that was, um, yeah, that was a surprising outcome there. Yeah, we still got a ton of money, so let's move on. Hmm, okay, what's in here? Oh. Yeah, let's give it a go. Yeah, with my attack power, I should be in fairly good shape here. Oh, man. Yeah, anything with a relatively unpredictable firing pattern really makes me nervous. But I'm okay. Yeah, I'll try the shop. Oh, I guess it's not the shop. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be better, especially because I've got that Midas touch. Ooh, this is, uh, this is also a pretty tense room here. Ooh, tough room. Okay, bombs. I'm sure I can make use of those. Oh, wow. Gotta be careful here. And by careful, I mean aggressive, so that I can kill them all as quickly as possible. Okay, that's, um, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. If I find coins, I can leave them be. Until such time as I have, uh, gone and picked this thing up. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll use it now. I guess I, what I should really do is just leave all the coins where they are and come back for a full sweep of the floor. Oh, wow. That was, um, that was really close, and I should have known that could happen. Okay, once I've got them following me around like this, it's pretty manageable. Okay. Hmm, I guess I could try and get these guys to uh, blow up the mushrooms for me, but uh, I never have that much luck with it. Hmm, now I need more keys. Uh, so I've learned my lesson about uh, those skeleton guys. They can throw their projectiles pretty much immediately after you enter the room. There is no beating them on the draw. Makes me sad. Okay, I'm blowing that up so it can't kill me later. And also because it could have had, like, money or something in it, but clearly not. Hmm, well, okay, I could, uh... Actually, yeah, with the... With the burnt penny and the lucky rock, I can make a feedback loop that gives me money and bombs. I blow up rocks to get coins, I pick up coins to get bombs, I use bombs to blow up rocks. It's called economics. That's what you learn in uh, Econ 101. Blow up rocks, get coins, get bombs. Oop. Let's see, the other thing they say is, uh, you know, don't get, uh, don't get hit by Greedhead's projectile because it'll make you lose money. And then the student puts their hand up and says, like, how much money? And the econ professor says, like, ah, oh, like one or two pennies. And the student says, that doesn't seem like much. Doesn't seem like it's uh, worth being concerned about. And the professor is like, you know what, it's the principle of the thing. If you're okay with losing a few pennies, uh, maybe the next day you're okay with losing a few dollars. Maybe the day after that, you're losing nations. You're losing children. You're losing dreams. That, uh, that econ professor, uh, I, I, he kind of sounds like he doesn't know what he's doing. He kind of sounds like he just sort of stumbled into an econ classroom and he's trying to fake his way through it. I don't know. I, I don't think he has much of a future. 
Okay, well, I suppose I will go and get that burnt penny now. And see what I can get. Ah, nothing. This is an outrage. See, as far as keys go, I have a chance of getting uh, bombs or key out of one of these in mushrooms if I bomb it. And it's possible I'll be able to bomb my way into the treasure room. Hey! All right. Nice. Ooh! Yep, that can happen. All right, maybe I'll get... Uh, some more mushroom items uh, out of the mushrooms, like tiny mushroom, and I, I can uh, have the mushroom transformation. Turn me into a mushroom man. Ooh, that's useful. Okay. So the lucky rock is over this away. I don't think it'll take me that long to uh, do a little farming. Uh, okay, one here, one here, one here, and one here. I know what you're thinking, but uh, of course the lucky rock works on mushrooms. Mushrooms are rocks. Yeah, I feel good about that. Okay, and oh right, yeah. I do need. I do want to pick up the yeah the lockpick trinket before I leave because that I feel is going to be more useful in the future. But this is definitely a nice thing to have for now. And is this bombs or key, perchance? No. Wow. Oh, I'm sad. But I will soldier on as always. Eh, I don't care. Hmm, pestilence, A. Eh? Yeah, I think uh, this guy... Don't... Oh! It's... Oh, okay. Ah, I was going to say, I didn't think he had that many tricks up his sleeve, but, uh, well, he's got spiders. Okay, so... This time, more careful. More careful, more caution. Okay, I don't think... It doesn't look like I'll need to use the, uh, yeah, the unicorn horn. All the bandages. Sure. Um, yeah, I guess we're out. I had forgotten I had Guppy's collar there. And this is... okay. Not that compelling. More bombs. What do I need with bombs? Yeah, don't... Don't, don't get overzealous there, Gemini. Although I suppose he does... Uh, hit enemies at a distance that would prevent me from being hit by their explosions. So that's nice. That's, uh, that's actually a, a true fact about umbilical cords. They are all long enough that uh, they keep you out of the range of explosions. Like, so, you know, mother and child, one of them is going to get blown up, but not both. And that's, maybe sometimes that's all you can ask for. Oh boy, uh, yeah, I'm 
nervous about my chances. Hmm. Probably going to have to fight greed, what with all this money I have. Honestly, the Midas touch was... Oh, wow. Okay, so... Yeah. The Midas touch was supposed to be its own punishment. Uh, having, having me be attacked by a physical manifestation of the concept of greed is kind of gilding the lily, which, you know, is sort of ironic considering that uh, as someone with the Midas touch, I can gild lilies just by touching them. Well, not so much gild them as turn them entirely into gold. Same basic principle, kind of. Ah, nice. Uh, okay, I guess that... Yeah, that gives me items when I get hurt, right? So, not really solid for my purposes, but... Doesn't hurt. Takes it out of the item pool. At least next uh, next beggar will have something else. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I can get a little use out of it. Do we have any candidates for the secret room? I don't know. I have enough bombs. I don't need to worry about. Well, let's see. Ah, oh, good. Yeah, I could blow up some mushrooms, too. Um, hmm. All right, well, yeah, I had forgotten this was a, a double-locked room. And I guess I'll give away what I can't pick up. Oh, wow. Yeah, almost uh, almost made a bad situation for myself. Who knows? Maybe Guppy's Collar would have saved me again. Because it seems to be very willing to do that on this playthrough. I, I can't remember the last time I've gotten more than one uh, revival from it in the one playthrough. Hmm. Okay, nice. Oh, it, I should... Hmm. I'm, I'm not too worried about how much the donation machine has in it. I do want it to keep some money in there so I can continue bombing it to uh, get money when I need it. Mm, revenge fly. Well, that uh, contributes to a potential uh, Lord of the Flies. Oh, actually, oh, okay, this is the one that uh, actually does encircle you. So it, it's already in orbital. That's nice. I was thinking it was the one that uh, only appeared when you got hit, which, of course, would not be useful. And there's greed. I could not have expected anything less. Let's see, did the mask just save me there? Man, I've got a lot of items bailing me out. But that's kind of how you win as the lost, really. Ah, good. I was hoping that guy would drop a key. And soon, I will be invincible. I believe that was the, uh... Oh, yep! Yeah, aha! Whew. I believe that was the name of a uh, book I read one time about... Uh, it was from the perspective of a supervillain called Soon I Will Be Invincible. Almost certain that's what it was called. No time to look it up now. But anyway, I was talking about the unicorn uh, recharge, obviously. Um, yeah, I will try and find the top secret room here. Haha. <laughs> well, finding it uh, is its own reward, in a way. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm not going to pick up Chad. Yeah, the extra extra damage from Midas Touch, plus my Orbitals, plus the Gemini, who doesn't do outstanding damage. 
you know, which is, of course, offset by his uh, considerable range most of the time. But his range isn't relevant when I'm right up close to the enemy. So anyway, I am, uh, yeah, I am a force to be reckoned with when I'm invincible. <laughs> I, I suppose that's true of most people. Even, like, even a very infirm, uh, feeble person would be a force to be reckoned with if they were completely invincible. You know, not unbeatable, certainly. You could always just, like, encase them in concrete or whatever, but, uh, you know, you gotta take them seriously, at least. Ugh, just money. More money. It's an outrage. I, I demand less free money. Obama. <laughs> Nope. Okay. Okay, key. That is the sort of thing that I need. Oop. Ah. Ah, these guys. Oh, okay, yep. One of them did tag me there. Oh, I would really be considering using my uh, unicorn horn if I had it. Okay. Oh, okay, that guy almost got too close. Hmm, well, yeah, I might as well do this now while I've got a charge on my unicorn horn. Yeah, I popped that kind of early, but uh, I got intimidated. I got scared. Well, Tammy's head is obviously very tempting, but mm, yeah, the unicorn horn gives me a really big advantage when I can use it. Might ultimately serve me better than having a quite good attack you know, every room. It depends how well I play, I guess. Anyway, in Econ 102, you learn about, uh, you know, the hanging greeds, which are a little more dangerous than the greed head. Any economics professor will tell you that they have invulnerable white flies circling around them, which makes them dangerous. Hmm. Oh. Okay, well, this uh, actually throws off my Tammy's head versus mm, unicorn horn calculus a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Try and find dry baby if I can. Hmm, well, yeah, two of diamonds, sure. <laughs> you know what, I'll use it. Now I have uh, 198 coins. You can't say that I don't, my math is unassailable. Um, oh. Okay, yeah, I wasn't quite sure what I was facing there. This this room type was uh, not too familiar to me. Okay, well, that was a pretty good opener. Yeah, this yeah, this might be better for me than unicorn horn. Of course, it's not always going to hit something if I just throw it out willy-nilly. All William Nillardson, like that. Whew. Okay, a couple of close calls there. Man, lock-picking trinket is so good. Ooh, Joker. So I think I can get to the... <coughs> Uh, 
devil room on my own on this floor. Yeah, I can, because uh, I didn't get it last floor. Oop. Took me a while to get used to how those guys work. I like the idea of them. Oh, I can't stop giving money away. I'm so rich. Hmm. Actually, I think I might bring the uh, unicorn horn over here, get that battery, and use it in the boss room just to be safe. And then I'll play in a band just to be safe. Okay, and maybe I'll <laughs> maybe I'll use the invincibility in that room because those things make me nervous. Let's see, so did I miss anything on this floor? I don't know, maybe there's some kind of secret room you know, off that uh, double room up here, but I'm not that inclined to go check it out. Maybe I will stick with Unicorn Horn, because invincibility plus knife is tremendous. Having access to that is probably better than anything Tammy's Head is going to do for me. Tammy's Head isn't, like, super powerful unless you have, um, unless you have Brimstone. It's amazing with Brimstone. With Mom's Knife, it's just good. Oh, boy. Yeah, I um, I feel good about that one. Okay, and there's our uh, third mm, third guppy item, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not mistaken. All right, let's get out of here. And let's immediately go to the devil room. Well, let's see. Actually, there could be some usefulness in using it to teleport myself out of a dangerous situation. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I forgot what kind of room. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, I kind of assumed I was in uh, a room with one of those brimstone wall huggers, which would have been a reasonable challenge in and of itself. But no, there were mom hands. Hmm, not interested. Okay, now here, here's some brimstone guys, and gone. Yeah, I went through a long, long phase where I was getting caught by those guys all the time. Okay, so I'm going to want to blow up as many of these as I possibly can. Hmm, ghost baby. I prefer dry baby, but I'll certainly take it. Hmm. Oh, the stars, okay. Ooh, the emperor. Probably want to hold on to that. The Fool, also not bad. Okay, well, I've got enough teleporty cards that uh, I think I'm just going to pop this now. Well, actually, one more room, just in case it's Krampus. I can probably beat Krampus without invincibility, but, you know. It ain't Krampus. Alright, uh, not sure how useful my little familiars there are going to be, but it's nice to have friends. <laughs> uh, gag room. Oh, well, actually, this could be good. It's not good! It was not good. Uh, 
here's some more opportunities to use some bombs. Starting to run a little low on him, though. Let's see, this looks like it could get the most possible... Hmm, well, it did, but to no great effect. Yep, I'm going to get this and then teleport out. Hey! Once again, an opportunity to use the mind. Use it or lose it, as they say. Hmm. Okay, so... No. In other circumstances, I might be willing to take it. Like, if I got it on the first floor, I'd be like, yeah, sure, let's roll them bones. But right now, I've got too much invested. Mm, okay, yeah, I do want to go to the store. Looks like there's not much else of interest. Just die already. Yeah. Love having the knife for dealing with these guys. I think it's easier to hit them with the knife than it was in uh, the original Binding of Isaac, where, man, you would, even if you attack them from the back, you would frequently miss when you were tossing the knife at them. Hmm, full health. Okay, well, that was also what I got in the boss trap room, so this means there's no particular reason to go back there and get it. If it were something like Pretty Fly, I might be tempted. Oh, you know what is back there, though, is the Emperor card. That is something I will want to take with me. Because that is going to save me some hardship down the road if I, you know, survive long enough to get that far down the road. Being able to teleport directly to the boss room served me very well on the playthrough in which I beat the lamb. And it can do so again. Okay, so... Let's see, is there any reason to teleport out of the boss room and come back and get this? I don't think there would be. So I was thinking I could use the fool to get out of the boss room and then come back here and get the emperor. But if I... Oh, okay, yep. There he is. You know what? It's a fair cop, Super Greed. I had 99 coins and I used a two of diamonds. So, yes. Like, I had the maximum amount of money that a person can possibly have and I attempted to double it. So, yeah, you got me. I'm greedy. All right, and hmm. Okay, you're gonna hate me, but I just uh, thought of a reason to use the fool to teleport out, and it's because there is a uh, there's a battery in the store, and so after I use. After I use the unicorn's horn in the boss room, I will be able to come back out, buy the battery, go get Emperor, and then, and only then, will I be ready to go into the womb. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty solid performance. Alright, and let's fool out of here. Let's fool around. Okay, so I picked up the Polaroid, and we are headed towards the chest. And if I get to the chest, I will use the Emperor there and save myself some grief. is uh, looking pretty good. Hmm, okay. 
Yeah, no real shortcuts. Occasionally the secret room gives you a, a shortcut you can take. But not this time. Oh wow, that, uh, that came pretty close. I just want to kill them all in case I need to come back to this room. I realize I could have left through the door, which was blown open. Okay, more money. Well, I've already defeated Greed and Super Greed, so there's nobody to punish me for taking as much money as I want. Hmm. Didn't realize I had to trigger that guy's movement myself. Ooh, yikes. Okay, well this... Ooh, can certainly be manageable. Not gonna fire at me from off screen. I mean, not unless I trigger them and then immediately go off screen. They're not honor bound not to fire at me, they just have a limitation on the distance from which they can be triggered. Okay, well, look. Oh, Bob, I will always keep you in my thoughts, but I will not take your thoughts with me. And so Bob's Thoughts doesn't get uh, removed from the item pool when it appears, apparently. Good to know, I guess. I don't know. I like Bob's Thoughts. I think it's a great item. I think, I mean, not like great as in super useful all the time, but great as in, like, I'm glad it's in the game. I'm glad it exists. And I enjoy using it. But the reason I enjoy using it is because it constitutes a great deal of risk. which at this point is intolerable. Hmm, okay. Well, luckily there's not that much more that needs to be remembered. Oh, maybe, uh, see, maybe like in the Flintstones, uh, when you, like, conk someone on the head a second time, you know, it cures their amnesia. Maybe if I, oh man. Why doesn't anything ever work like Flintstones rules? Man, oh man. Now you might have a pale horse, but a horse is not a unicorn. Let's see. Okay, well this is fairly straightforward. Yes, more money. Nobody's left to punish me for my greed. Oh, I was hoping for another Bob's Thoughts. Well, the sun is pretty good. I just don't really see myself using it. Well, if I had uh, a bunch of charges to spare for, uh, you know, the unicorn horn, I could try and play the devil beggar. But unless I found find like a huge storehouse of uh, you know, batteries, I don't think that's likely to happen. Come on. Well, okay, not useful. I'm, I'm already all-knowing, can't you tell? Can't you tell by how grotesquely enormous my brain is? Let's see, is that guy still alive? Oh, no, he kind of looked like he was still alive, but I guess not. Okay, this guy can fire projectiles, can't he? I think. Well, not when he's dead. That guy can fire projectiles. I was just wondering if I was perfectly safe inside the, uh, you know, this hole here, or if I would need to get inside the perfectly safe capsule instead. Okay, so I am going to need to go to one additional room. Oh, boy. One additional room to charge up the old horn.
Okay. Well, since I'm going to the chest, I don't want to give up more keys than I have to. All right. One more room. Actually, take the sun. Maybe it'll make things easier for me. Hmm, yeah. That's good use of the sun. Let's see, does this work? No. Does not affect the trajectory of the knife. Disappointing. I mean, the knife would probably become considerably harder to use. I probably wouldn't have held on to it, but still, it's nice when, you know, synergy exists. I realize it is not always practical. What do you got for me, the devil? Any money in those fires? You know I love money. Okay. Apparently not enough to bother picking it up, though. Just on the on the off chance that I would slip into the hole and fall into Sheol. Is that how you pronounce it? No idea. I am not a scholar of... What is that, uh, like, part of uh, Jewish tradition? I, I have no idea. Ooh. Uh, okay, don't let him box me in. Thank you, Gemini, for taking care of those flies, and we're down to one target. Ooh, okay, uh, yikes. Oh, um, I'm going to want to take care of this bastard as quickly as possible. Oh, wow. Well, how about it? Yeah, I'm picking up Mom's toenail. I don't think that'll do anything. Mom's dead. No, I'm sure it continues to work after you kill Mom, but uh, yeah, might as well save some keys by bombing my way in here. What do we got? Two. I'm not going to bother with this. Ah, oh, more money. Okay, I will need to get two charges on the unicorn horn. Hmm, sure. More resources. Okay. Um, presuming I survive, this will take, oh boy, take care of my needs. Uh, item charge wise. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll check out this room. Hmm, no. No point in taking that. Nothing much to be said about that. It happened. Hmm. Isaac's heart? <laughs> Not a great item from what I've heard. It has its uses, apparently, but, uh... Hmm. Well, fairly good items. So this leaves me with something of a conundrum. I think, I think I will be putting myself at less risk by just going directly to the boss rather than facing a lot of rooms that have multiple enemies in them. I'd have to go through five rooms to get a full charge. I'm just going to the boss. Emperor? I'm doing pretty good damage. I'm doing positively excellent damage. Oh! Well, oh man. Zigged when I should have zagged there. I am resolved to zig this time. Or, no, zag. Ah! Whichever one I didn't do. Oh, wow. Um, it's kind of going off on me a little more than last time, I think.
Well, that's him dead. Now let's see about me. And there it is. So this series is actually chugging along faster than I expected, and I'm kind of glad. It's not that I'm eager for it to be over. It has been and still is fun. But it just seems like the sort of thing that shouldn't last forever. My original plan for this series was actually to upload every single attempt, even the ones that ended in immediate failure, so I'd be releasing these daily episodes that would almost always be like one or two minutes long, and the occasional, you know, 10 to 50 minute run. And that sounded kind of fun for me, but I quickly realized that it's probably not something that I would watch. So you get the highlights, such as they are, and for my part, I get to make a series that'll end up closer to 20 episodes than 200, and I can start doing something else after this ends. So anyway, this just leaves us with the boss rush, which means that every single run from now on will be done with the goal of beating Mom in under 20 minutes. That means briskly paced episodes. So again, thanks for watching, and truly, from the bottom of my heart, pizza time. So stupid!